trade was Jason. His spirit kept invading me. <laughs> so I stopped watching. I think I, I sneaked into 10. I was watching some other movie, you know, when you're in a mall, you can sneak into other theaters, you know. So I sneaked in on Jason X, and, you know, he walks into a closet and comes out as Robocop. I'm like, wow, these are still so stupid, man. So, then the new one comes out, and it's supposed to be a retelling, you know, you know, uh, uh, a new imagination of the movie. And, um, oh, man, there were lines like, uh, your tits are stupendous. <laughs> who, who wrote that thing? <laughs> you know, and then that guy drops his gun in the woods, and he actually gets down in the puddle and says, where are you, gun? You know? No. So I hate people that talk in movies, but me and my pals, we couldn't, we couldn't help it. We kept yelling, where are you, gun? Why are your tits are stupendous? And the whole crowd would laugh because they were with us, knowing how stupid the movie was turning out. You know? And poor Derek Mears, he had a great makeup on, they didn't show it. They could have killed him right there in the, in the tree. <laughs> Whatever they call those things, you know. But no, what do they do? They drag him a hundred yards to go into the lake so that you can go, okay, when is he popping back up? Because you know that all they're going to do is try to create the ending to the best one ever. The first one, you know. Uh, well, the fourth one to me is the best one. Uh, part, the final I like, chapter. I like the fourth one. Yeah, fourth okay. Well, there was a reason it was called the final chapter. They thought that was going to be the last one. But it made so much money, you know, there's going to be a Friday the 13th. Part 13, I'm sure of it. What brought you, what brought you back to do the effects and makeup for the fourth one? Um, on the first one, um, I only got like fifteen thousand dollars, but that was for materials, for paying an assistant, for travel. You know, all I wanted was a big screen TV, and I got it back then. Um, I didn't do the second one because they sent me the script, and they had Jason running around, and Jason is a kid that dies in the first movie. The mother was the killer. I said, "We want Jason." No, no, we're going to change that. Of course, they did not. Um, I had an argument with Betsy Palmer about that. She said that, oh, we never found the body. We never found the kid's body. Okay, so that means he came out of a lake and for 35 years was living off crayfish. And <laughs> and nobody saw this weird kid when he was. So, uh, yeah, so I, I thought there shouldn't be a Jason. So they didn't offer me part three. In the final chapter, they offered me because I get to kill Jason. Although it wasn't in the script. We invented Jason's death ourselves. It wasn't in the script. So it was going to be the final chapter because that was going to be the last one, you know. So they wanted, I, it was like Frank and Dr. Frankenstein. I created the monster and then I get to kill him, okay. Um, <clears throat> so wait, what, uh, I was heading toward a point there about the final chapter. <laughs> oh, no, I know what it was. Uh, when they asked me to do it, I asked for a fortune, okay. And they gave it to me. And that made up for the first one. <laughs> I think that's why, yeah, I did it. Um, yeah, I asked for a bloody fortune. It was a big deal, Paramount Pictures, so they, they went for it. But still, to this day, I mean, the, the first movie made for $300,000. I think it made $72 million. And all the reviews said that the star of this film is Tom Savini's effects. I made $15,000. <laughs> they made $72 million. So I'm a little pissed off about that. <laughs>